What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here. I've got three buses to show off. These are all pretty, pretty solid buses. I think you're going to like these three that I'm going to show you. Let's dive into it. Don't forget, if you have something you want to submit for lots of lots or bus stuff for sale, throw it in the video request form in any one of my videos and I'll take a look at it and potentially feature it. All right, here is a picture of the first bus. As you can see, this is a little shorty Wayne and I'm showing you this picture and not reading the description for a reason because this bus is kind of rare. That being this generation Ford Wayne. You, we don't see too many of these. I did a video a little while back on the last one that I found for a lots of lots. And I think I was only able to find two or three others online, which, you know, that's, that's, that's a pretty low amount. Uh, you, you just don't see too many of these. So as you can see, police is written on the side. You, you might have been able to make out in the last picture and in this one, prisoner transport, and that's what this was used for. The bus has definitely seen better days. It's not the worst that it could be, but still. Here's a look at the front of the bus, the back passenger side. There's a hitch on it. It looks like everything except for like the guarding or whatever you want to call this was removed. Obviously there's a couch in there. You can see some milk crates and a, a storage shelf. There's the driver's area. This would be the front of the bus. That seat right there would be for the uh, guard or whoever is watching over the prisoners. And you could see, you know, the door would just shut and they'd be locked in there and that storage shelf was right behind the front entrance here's them loading something into the bus them towing a whole airplane with it okay and the bus pulled over on the side of the road 1995 e350 bus with a 7.3 power stroke 115,000 miles runs great everything works only problems are some dry rot in the tires and it leaks oil not too much in the winter but a lot in the summer haven't looked to see where it's coming from. I have all the original seats, but they're currently removed to make space for the couch and cargo. The couch comes with the bus if you want it. The cage counts as a partition, so passengers can drink in the back. It also works well to protect tools and cargo. No one messes with this thing and couldn't get in if they tried. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that there is some sort of story involved with this if they had to put those two sentences in there, uh, and I kind of want to hear that story. If you want it, it's in Monroeville, New Jersey for nearly $5,000. Going over to the other side of the country and taking a look at something that is not only a couple thousand dollars cheaper, but a couple decades older. We are in Cataldo, Idaho, taking a look at this 1966 GMC bus. 1966 GMC short bus, no motor, good condition, possible delivery locally. All right, so right off the bat with no motor, it's probably priced pretty high. Uh, let's continue looking at it anyways. So we can see that this is a 1966 Superior GMC. Uh, it is... It's not bad by any means. It's certainly not good. Take a look at the bumper up front. You know, that definitely needs to be cleaned up. You can see a little bit under the hood. That looks to be pretty rusted along with the windshield wipers. The top rub rail, you know, paint fade here and there. That's okay. And it also looks like there might have been body mounted turning signals on the bus that got removed. I don't know what those holes would be otherwise. And also notice that we have one warning light cover missing. I love this generation of GMC buses. There's just something so, so gorgeous about them. Uh, they're, they're so unique. Uh, I like these a lot. Pretty much the same notes as I was just saying. This just needs a lot of attention. Uh, and paint it looks like. The interior is looking a lot better than the outside of the bus. However, you can see that towards the back, uh, some of that is peeling, uh, but otherwise the seats are removed. There's four tires in there and everything else looks to be in pretty good condition. Back on the outside of the bus, uh, nothing more than what I was saying before. Same things here, it looks like the interior is pretty good, but the exterior isn't as good. The back warning lights were removed, as well as the superior emblem that would be on the emergency door. You can also see the shifter for the manual transmission, and that seat is just very, very rusted. If this had a motor in it and it worked well, 
I could definitely see someone asking two thousand dollars for it, but it, it without a motor and it clearly just it it needs some work. Um, it'd be it's it's possible to get it running, but it's it's not it would not be an easy task to get it running by any means running and in you know pristine condition. So uh, you know cool find, but. Yeah. All right, and last but not least, we are going back to the other side of the country, and we are looking at something that is a little bit older, a lot more expensive, and is in pretty pristine condition. Uh, this is such a cool find. We are taking a look at a 1964 Dodge school bus for 14,500 bucks in Wary, New Hampshire. I have for sale a very unique 64 Dodge short bus this bus is originally from California, then made its way to Washington, and now it's traveled all the way to New Hampshire. This is a perfect opportunity for somebody could be the face of their business. So many possibilities. Ice cream truck, food truck, camber conversion, hot rod, rat rod, there cannot be more than a handful of these things in existence, let alone runnable and safe for the road. Lots of work has gone into this bus in the last year roughly around six to seven thousand dollars list of everything that was maintained or changed is in the pictures was on an episode of chronicle it's new hampshire's local news station last year absolutely no rot or rust on the shorty runs and drives great for you will not break any speed records with it that's for sure <laughs> but a blast to drive very cool conversation piece get lots of look and attention all right um so let me just establish this first before I show you the bus. Uh, I don't want it to turn into a, what were they saying? Ice cream truck, food truck, camper conversion, hot rod, rat rod, um, or anything other than just a school bus because I really, really like this bus here. Take a look at this absolutely gorgeous 1964 Wayne Dodge. The only thing that I'm seeing up front is that we're missing the O for Dodge and it looks to be a little dented or dinged up right there. Otherwise, uh, come on, look at that and tell me that's not beautiful. So it's not in absolutely pristine condition, but it's pretty close. You can see towards the back of the bus, uh, you know, it needs to be painted a little bit right under the door. It could be a little bit better as well. And might I just point out Look at how short this bus is. You know, you see short buses and hear of short buses all the time, but this is a short bus. The back could use a little bit of love. It doesn't look too, too awful. Uh, you know, just need to throw some yellow on there and that's okay. Also notice that the back warning lights would have been removed. There's a look at a different angle from the front. The engine, the underside of the bus, eh, eh, you know, same there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take back pristine condition. We're going to change it down to, uh, you know, whatever maybe like two or three levels below that is. The exterior of the bus looks pretty solid aside from a few things, but this interior is just gutted out. Okay, we're, we'll take it down one more. I, I looked at these pictures a couple days ago, honestly, and I kind of forgot. Notice we have a manual transmission right there. Uh, the dash doesn't look too bad. Uh, we can see that the driver's seat is pretty torn up. It doesn't look like, you know, half of it's there and that there's a pad on top of it. Looks like there's plenty of literature to go with it. There's the bus next to a food cart. Okay. And another picture of the interior. All right, there you go. Those are the three buses. Well, that, that's six, three. You know what I'm doing. Uh, those are the buses that I wanted to show you. And as always, let me know in the comments below uh, if if you had the available resources, uh, time, money, uh, experience, you know, whatever you need, and the buses were uh, either close to being finished or finished or whatever you want, just which bus would you buy? Would it be this Amtran uh, that Amtran? Where did I get Amtran from? I don't know where I got that from. Uh, would it be this? This Wayne that I just showed you, uh, the Superior GMC, or that Shorty Wayne Ford, uh, what would it be for you? I would, of course, be happy with any of those three, but if I had to choose, it would definitely be that Wayne Dodge. It is such a gorgeous bus. Uh, it definitely it, it should be preserved by someone. 
um, and it is such such a unique piece right there. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you agree or disagree with me? Let me know what you would choose. Uh, and while you're down there, make sure that you submit stuff for bus stuff for sale. Lots of lots. And I also have the picture form. Uh, so if you all have anything that you want to put in there, go ahead, submit it. I'll take a look at it. And it might just get featured on a future video. So anyways, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put down and cover they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or all of the buses and future episodes of Bus Stuff for Sale. I'm going to think that they're in really good condition and then realize, oh no, they're actually in not so good condition or not as well as I thought they would be. And then, uh, yeah, so... Uh, make sure you also share this video with a friend, just show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care, don't let anything happen to you. So yeah guys, that's gonna do it for this video, and thanks for watching.